across to Manisha Gupta now. Manisha is joining in to give us our daily dose of the commodity space. Manisha, over to you. Thank you so much for that, Ekta. And I'll start with metals because we haven't seen a strong start to many of these metals in 2024. Of course, December was a strong month and we're looking at corrections post that. Apart from that, the China manufacturing data also did not come out so strong. And uh, I'm focusing on zinc right now, which actually was the second, uh, second worst performer in previous year. Rahul Sharma is director, India International Zinc Association. Rahul, I thank you so much for joining us. It wasn't such a great 2023 for zinc where we saw the prices decline anywhere between 13 to 16 percent, depending on what exchange you're looking at. How would you look at this year now? What do you think would work? And with the kind of surplus that we are dealing with in the global markets, how are you addressing that? Thank you, Manisha. And first of all, a very happy new year to you and to your entire team. Uh, you are right. Zinc has been the second weakest performer among the London Metal Exchange base metal packs so far last year. So zinc's relative underperformance is down to a built up of uh, excess metal as the global market shift from supply shortfall to widening surplus. Mm. The zinc market shift to surplus after two years of supply deficit is down to weaker than expected demand and higher than expected production. Uh, European demand is also expected to contract by 1.8% per uh, this year due to mm. slowing activity in the construction sector. So, which accounts for around half of zinc demand in the form of galvanized steel. Mm. Uh, also, there were some concerns regarding China property crisis, which will also impact zinc demand in China. Being a global commodity, geopolitical situations play a key role in maintaining smooth demand uh, and supply of zinc. Uh, mm. Zinc prices have been range bound last year. So, I see that you know market optimism on improving zinc demand from emerging economies and zinc demand from clean energy sector are definitely a ray of hope for 2024. Mm. Yes, Rahul, so if you had to give out a price forecast for 2024, where do you see the zinc prices ranging then? Uh, the zinc prices has been range bound last year with the LME price between 2300 to 2700 USD per ton. I observed that because of uncertainties like China property crisis, Israel-Palestine conflicts, Russia-Ukraine war, etc., and several restrictions in place for manufacturers, which mm. resulted in keeping bare minimum stocks, and they were utilizing their reserve inventories for manufacturing. This in turn hits the demand and affects supply chain, which was reflected in drop in LME prices. Mm. Now, zinc metal demand outlook seems to be positive, as economic okay. activities are coming back to normalcy. However, few experts are spectacular about uncertainties which might hit the demand in short term. Having said that, I foresee that if LME prices can breach USD 2670, then you may see a bullish uh, run, you know, bullish outlook for zinc. So overall, zinc market seems to be promising in long run. Hmm. Rahul, that's about the international market. So when we talk about the Indian markets, I mean, we do understand that Hindustan Zinc is the sole player in the space here. But how are you looking at the Indian production and consumption and the kind of demand growth that is expected? Uh, I will say India is growing uh, at a GDP pace of 6 to 7%. Some experts also say that, you know, 8% can also be achievable. So zinc is a versatile metal. Zinc is used in many applications, including galvanizing of steel, zinc thermal spray of rails for railway sector. It goes into brass with copper because brass is a alloy of copper and zinc. Then mm -hmm. bronze, pharmaceuticals, fertilizers, and many more, making the metal an attractive opportunity for businesses. Globally, galvanizing is the major end use of zinc. Uh, right. In India, almost 70% of the zinc goes into galvanizing sector, whereas world world's figure is almost 50%. So India is a bit unbalanced if you compare with the world uh, mm. leading economies. Then India produces approximately 800,000 tons of zinc per year. This year, Hindustan zinc has already breezed 1 million tons of metal production that includes zinc and lead and silver. Okay. So mm. I'm expecting that next year, this might go, uh, zinc production can go up to 900,000 to 950,000 uh, uh, per year. 
Also, government increased spending on infrastructure projects like modernization of railways, national pipe grid owned by Indian Oil, Gale, and Hindustan Petroleums. Then several NHAI projects. Recently, I was hearing uh, Honorable Minister of Highways, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, and he said that government has already placed two lakh crore of funds for development of national highways. So that's very good news for the uh, infrastructure sector and especially for the zinc sector because a lot of zinc goes into the crash barriers, guardrails, signages, etc. Then government is also increasing transmission lines owned by Power Grid Corporation of India. Okay. As you know, these sectors will consume a lot of galvanized steel, which eventually will increase zinc demand. So I foresee okay. Indian zinc consumption will grow substantially in this financial year. Yeah. Okay, all right, Manisha. Thanks very much for bringing us that update on zinc prices. We need to take a short break on that note, but on the